my name is Dr. David McLaren and I work at James Cook University in Cairns, Queensland, Australia. I've had the good fortune of working with Atoifi since 1992. Initially I worked here um, in the medical laboratory and then from there um, became interested in public health and in health in rural and remote areas. I now work at James Cook University and we have a collaboration with Atuifi Hospital to help strengthen research capacity to investigate uh, local health issues and to get evidence to inform local programs. Since 2009, JCU has been collaborating with Atuifi on quite a number of uh, local health projects, mainly in East Malaita. But over the last couple of years, we have been working in collaboration with the Ministry of Health here in Solomon Islands, and particularly around research capacity building. Um, for the last two years, we have a uh, Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade funded project to work with the Ministry of Health, James Cook University, and uh, provincial health services, including Atuifi Hospital, but also um, we are working with health workers from Western Province and from Tomotu Province to help build research capacity, particularly in provincial areas. The program that we have encourages health workers who uh, work in departments such as a tuberculosis department or immunisation or infection control and we have a particular focus on infectious disease surveillance and response and to strengthen systems in the Solomons to be able to identify infectious diseases, to be able to um, respond to outbreaks and uh, to be able to help the health services to be able to run in more efficient ways, particularly in the provinces. It's been fantastic to work with uh, many people from the Ministry of Health, from the National Referral Hospital and from the provincial hospitals to be able to identify what issues are, to be able to systematically collect evidence and to have that evidence to inform local action but also provincial and national policy. Um, we have had the very good fortune of being funded by the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs under a program called the Tropical Partners Program. That funds James Cook University to work with people in Fiji, in Solomon Islands, in Papua New Guinea, in East Timor and in Eastern Indonesia to build capacity around infectious disease surveillance and response. One of the things that we have done here in Solomon Islands is had a particular focus on provincial areas to be able to ensure that our provincial health services are able to identify and to be able to respond to infectious diseases in the provinces. My final thing I'd like to say, it's been a real pleasure to work here in the, in the Solomon Islands and to see the activities that each of the research fellows have and to be able to support those fellows to be able to identify a problem in their area, to be able to uh, support people to create a research proposal to be able to support those fellows to be able to systematically collect evidence and then to be able to collate that evidence, analyse it and to be able to present it back to their departments, to the health services and to the policy makers here in Solomon Islands. And so it's been a real joy to be able to work with the research fellows here in Solomon Islands. My name is uh, Stanley Fugin. I'm with the Environmental Health Division. Currently, I'm looking after the health quarantine unit at the Honor International Airport. It's very interesting and uh, very resourceful, uh, the implementation in our research, because we look at issues within our workplace and then we try to develop research questions around that issue. And we did the research and we come up with our solutions to address that particular issue within our workplace, which is, for me, it's really good and it's very interesting. It gives me more confidence to do research. My name is Cynthia Joshua and I'm from Western Province and I work at the Ministry of Health, specifically the Public Health 
Emergency and Surveillance Unit. So about this um, research training, I would say that I'm really privileged to be one of the fellows in this training program. I find this training program like it's very practical and for me it, it, it really enhances my knowledge in the area of research and I'm sure that this training will not just stop here but it will help me to um, um, do more research in the area of my of my work. Yeah, so uh, I would say that um, it will be really helpful for me in my area of work, not only just for the purpose of this training, but when I go back to my area of work, it will also the new knowledge that I gain will help me to um, carry on and continue doing other researches. Hi, my name is Frida Pitakaka and I'm actually heading the, currently heading the research department of the Ministry of Health and um, uh, we are now currently in Atoifi doing the third workshop for the research capacity building initiative between James Cook University and the Ministry of Health. When I look into this program, it is um, it really boosts the capacity of our health workers to be able to address issues within their own setting, within their own workplace, because we actually do not have the research capacity to, to especially do research for the Ministry of Health, especially uh, for my department with only one person working. It's really hard to to conduct research and to coordinate the overall research for the Ministry of Health. So having this this first cohort benefit for the Ministry because they will uh, they will be the ones that will actually um, take on the responsibility and, to, and able to support others to be able to address issues within the, the workplace. We are doing this program. I, I really appreciate the way it was structured and the approach James Cook University has, um, has uh, put into place for, for developing countries like Solomon Islands because that is, how, that is what we really want. Thank you.